It's Tony, your Pop Ops Workshop, and we're talking about today a common problem that we run into. Uh, humidity changes affect the wood stored here in the shop. Sometimes it's a thing called case hardening where the outside of the wood dried faster than the inside, and so when you go to cut into it after it's been through the sawmill, you get binding. So for me, hide my secret weapon here. You can feel how much, see how much tension that was under. I keep this in this pocket of my Cat's Moses apron. So I can just reach in here, stop the saw, stop the saw first, then we'll reach in. And then I can just simply take the wedge part of it and just start pushing it down until I get some relief here. The writhing knife is going to do some, but A, the writhing knife on this table saw is not the greatest. It's okay, but it's not the greatest. And once it gets past a little bit, the back end of this will close. And as it does, it just gets impossible to push through. You just, you feel it. You can hear the saw bog down. You can feel the lumber does not want to go any further. Don't push it. Stop, turn off your saw, get something to open up the back of that cut. It could be a chisel, it could be anything you've got. I just keep this little plastic shim in my pocket because I know it happens. Uh, especially, you know, when you're buying lumber, you didn't know yourself, you don't know, you're just going to get this. This is <laughs> this is Honey Locust from a Facebook Marketplace pickup. So I got a great deal on the lumber, but sometimes with changes in weather, it's going to be a problem. So I just shoved that in there and we're able to work again. So I'm going to put on my hearing protection, turn on my shop vac, and then we'll show you what happens after we've opened up the back end. All right, so there you saw it. This opened it up just enough, smooth as butter after that. So it goes back in the pocket for the next time. That's it. Pay attention to your saw. You can hear the sound even with your isotunes or your hearing protection in. You can hear it, you can feel it. Sometimes you'll smell the burning because it's binding in, it's burning. So when those things are happening, your, your cue is to turn off the saw, figure out what's going on, fix it, and then proceed. So hopefully you're being safe in the shop today. We appreciate you taking your time to watch the video. We appreciate all our subscribers and those that are liking the videos. It really means a lot to us. So thanks again for watching. And remember, you can do this.